what we're looking at here is the code, or the toolpath rather, for the 620 inner bearing adapter. Okay, the only difference between this and the other one is that the tool zero, and I added a few more face cuts out here because it's going to have to cut a little extra off, and that way I can start with a, a raw slug uh, instead of a so I can start with a raw one, you know, that has this kind of end on it. Let it focus there. And it will shave the extra off because I'm looking to remove 80 thousandths. This is 80 thousandths shorter than the other one. There you can see the difference. Uh, you can see the difference in height there. I could use this exact same code and put this, chuck this one back up and cut that excess off to here with this code or I can cut it from a raw one like this. Uh, so I'm just going to leave the code like that. There's no point in having two different programs uh, that can do the exact same thing. Go ahead and get it set up here. Uh, I've shown this before. This is the... I've got a little bevel in here to absorb that, uh, to clearance that uh, radius in there. And, and you can see that's loose in there because as the jaws tighten down, they, they push out. So we'll give it a little... Give it a little hammer in there. Let's... Uh, okay. And the part itself looks to be spinning pretty true. And I'm going to run the RPMs down in the 700, 800 range.
here's a few that are done already. It's kind of like an oddball, I guess. Uh, haven't made a mate for it yet. So I've got four or five twenty ones. Like I showed here, you can see the difference there in the height. And that's because the 620 spindle has a taller boss at the bottom, so uh, it keeps everything in line. Otherwise, there'd have to be two sets of brackets and blah, blah, blah. So there's four 620s. I know Chris, uh, Big Black 620, he's one of these is his set. and oh, I can't remember uh, the other guy's name offhand. Uh, he's uh, building a show truck. He's anxious to get uh, busy with it, too. So I, I still... I still need to make a few more of these kind of thing. Uh, I've got uh, three more over there, so that'll that'll finish it out. So I'll probably make... Uh, I'm not sure what I'll make. Uh, if I make 520s, 521s rather, with the way I wrote the code, I can just chuck these back up and turn them into 620s without any problem. Uh, that's why I wrote it that way. I didn't want to have to make them into 521s. Uh, and take the time to rechuck them and, and run a second program. So that way I can do either or. I can either do a, a, uh, a rough slug or do a 521. So that way if I find myself with tons of 521s and out of 620s, I can put these in and, and make 620s out of them. And I don't have to have a raw slug. Okay, so after this, I still have... I still have, uh, oh, there's another, there's another pair of 521s. There's the outers. So bearing adapter wise, we're getting pretty close, but, but as you can see, I still have a ton of these to uh, countersink. Uh, I did get all the other ones prepped, the, the tabs, they're all prepped. The spacers are all made. Uh, it's getting close.
one thing I thought I might mention here. I used the exact same code for the six for the 521 and the 620. I added um, some more facing lines for the 620. Now I'm going to use that exact same code to turn this last 521 spacer. It's not the last one. I still got like 36 more to go, but uh, the last one I have Operation One done on. Okay. What I did was, for the 521s, I zeroed it against the spacer. That was part zero, and everything's set to come over here. Now, since this is well over 80 thousandths thick, this spacer, what I did for the 620 is I came to zero, and basically I went in to negative .080, and set that as my part zero. The machine doesn't really notice a difference. I don't know how to use the tool offsets yet. The, the or Not the tool offsets, the work offsets, the G54 and stuff like that. Uh, so I just kind of did a little work around and just reset my zero for the 80 thousandths offset I needed. And that made the, the 620 spacers 80 thousandths shorter. But since the part didn't change thickness, that's why I had to add the extra facing lines. So what I'm going to do now is when I'm cutting this 521, it's just going to cut air for the first, you know, 80 thousandths uh, or more. Uh, and I don't really care. That's, that's faster and easier for me to only have one set of codes, blah, blah, blah. You know, I can just change the work, the work zero. Uh, later when I use, learn how to do work offsets, I can do it up that way and have two different codes or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this one. And uh, I just wanted to point that out, that it, it is, is going to be the exact same code for this part as the last one. So we'll see how it comes out.